Welcome to part 3 of uh, how to paint Usaka Creed. Now we're going to move on to undercoating his cloth now. And he's going, I'm going to give him some white trousers. So I'm using Vallejo light grey. Just painting that all over. Again, just taking your time around the edges when the uh, two colours meet. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to uh, give him some grey hair. I'm going to undercoat that with uh, Vallejo dark grey. Make sure you keep fairly close to the skin there, don't want too much black showing. It's going to have a uh, black armour. I'm going to undercoat his uh, cigar using uh, Velo Burnt Umber. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Now, he's going to have uh, a lot of gold on him here and there. Uh, so, but gold will come last. Um, any metallics you do, I, I would advise washing your brush separately or cleaning your water afterwards. Uh, so that's why I'm going to save that to last. Um, but I'm going to highlight the white next. So I'm going to do a 50 50 mix of uh, Vallejo light grey and Vallejo off white. Now this is highlighted in much the same way as the flesh, um, just uh, leave the creases, uh, the undercoat colour, and much the same you can have uh, most of the first highlight cover 90-95% of the layer below.
it's all down to preference how much uh, contrast you want Okay, so that's done. I'm going to highlight the grey now using uh, Vallejo London Grey. It's got quite short hair, so this will be done in a very much a stippling sort of effect. Just sort of dot all over the hair. Give it a nice texture, is really what we want. And then we'll take some light grey and we'll just go over the top of that with the light grey bit more sparsely uh, placed and on top of that we'll put a little bit of our mixture of white and light grey just here and there perhaps a little bit more around the edges or the sideburns And finally, we can put some extreme white here and there for those aging hairs. Very fine dots. It's really easy, but gives a really nice effect. Any chance you've got to put texture on a model like that, uh, you're going to get good results. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to move on to the light uh, on the end of the cigar. Just using Vallejo Flat Red quite a bright red. This will end up being orange and then yellow. And we'll put some grey around that as well for the ash when that's dry. Uh, we'll do another highlight on the trousers, so we'll add some white to our mix. We just want a tiny, tiny bit of grey this time in it. Just enough to take the uh, brightness away from the white. Try and keep the paint quite thin and it will blend nicely in the layer to the layer below when you stretch it out over the uh, trousers. Plus it does dry slightly darker than when you put it on. And then the final layer will 